If you want to create SVGs in Adobe Illustrator, you are first going to have to learn how to turn to trace an image. So to trace an image is pretty simple. Um, when you upload an image and it is selected, you get this toolbar up top. Go up here to image trace on the drop down. Um, 3, 6, and 16 are the only options you have as far as colors go. If you don't need color, then uh, you can just use the default. But um, 3, 6, and 16. So my image has, oops, my image has one color. So I'm, well, technically it has two because it has a background on it too. So I'm going to choose three colors. I like to choose more colors than what I have in the image. So, or right at or more. So if I have four images, I would, or four colors, I would have chosen six. So now that we've traced the image, we go to expand and it creates a group over here in the layers panel. And as you can see, it broke everything down into compound path, or I mean, into paths. And the background is a compound path. We don't need that background. If we were going to upload this as an SVG, we don't want that background on it. We just want our image. So the next thing we're going to do is select all of these here, or you can use your selection tool and um, select them all. Then you're going to go either press Control-8. I'm not sure what it would be on a Windows PC, but go to Compound Path and Make. And that gives us one image. So. Over here, I'm going to show you guys um, how to do the same thing with a more complex image. Um, image tracing is looks better when you have a flat, high-quality image. So to upload your image, you're going to go to File and Place. And then I'm going to choose this mini mouse here. Where'd it go? Place. Oh. Let's just, I'm going to go to file, new. I don't know what that was about. Now go to File, Place. There we go. Let's get our girl in there. So basically it's the same steps for the most part, but we have a lot more colors in here. We have one, two, three, four, five, five colors. So we're going to trace, we're going to choose six colors. And then we need to expand her. Now, as you can see, we have all these paths. We don't need to keep, or we don't need all of these single teeny tiny pieces in the, um, in the, if we were uploading this as an SVG. So, First thing we're going to do is, oh, I guess it's already ungrouped. No, it is not. We're going to ungroup it. So make sure everything is selected and then ungroup. And I'm going to select the actual colors first. So just click on one, go to select, same, fill and stroke, and then command eight or object compound path and make and you're going to do that same thing with all the colors all 
And what we are doing is connecting all of the colors together so that they can be cut with our cutters in one piece. Now here's where it gets tricky. Or maybe it won't, let's see. I think we have some background pieces. So we need to find out where those are. And the way we do that is, yeah, we have some, you see how that box is all the way around it? That tells me that there is a background there. So now we're, I believe we, that was it. So let's see. So those are gloves and I think, nope, we did not lose it. And sometimes when it uploads, it's different shades of white or different shades of different colors. Now, if you can see where my arrow is, there's a little dot of color there that I don't want to be connected. So I'm going to hold down shift and, uh-oh. Oh, and it's selecting that too. And right over here. There we go. So now we just got what we need. We need the eyes. And I'm, I'm just doing them separately. And then I'm going to come back and connect all of those. If you're not sure if you need it or not, I turn this little eye off and on. Well, select it and then turn it off and on just to see if it's something you need. That is not, this is not something I need. And neither is that. So now we've taken all those little itty, 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 bitty pieces. And we've changed them into, um, pieces that we would be able to cut in vinyl or paper or whatever to make a, um, a single image. Now, before I save, I always take my white and change it to like a shade of gray because for some reason it doesn't save the white otherwise. And to save this as an SVG, you just go up here to file, save as, and then select SVG and give it a name. That's it. 